Hello everyone, this is your man Hot Man. Welcome back to my channel. This time we'll be doing another review. This time we'll be doing another review on another predator figure. But this time we'll be doing a review on the predator figure in the 12 inch scale. And I did get this one also, as you notice, from your local Walmart. It is also a Walmart exclusive. And I thought it would have it on there. Wait a minute. Oh, here you go. I went past it. It's also a Walmart exclusive, as you can see. And then here, this side of the box. I'm trying to paint it out. It is it says Predator, the collectible, and you do have some artwork and it shows you um here's a bio as you can see right there. It was says 12 inch scale, classic predator, and then here's all the stuff you want to read it. There it goes. I'll this time I'll make sure I get it nice and clear and you can see that. Show you how the work um all the features and stuff, also on the back. And we'll find out why this is on there and everything. And then show you all the rest of the stuff right here. And as you said, this is Jungle Hunter. There's another picture of the Jungle Hunter on the back of it. And it also says 20th Century Fox at the bottom. Action figure, postable action figure. And if you want to try to find it, if you can't find it in your local Walmart, there's the barcode right there. So you can get a chance to check that out. So we're going to pause the video, come back, open it up, and see what this 12-inch scale um, Predator figure is all about. So be right back for you. It'll probably be just a second for me, maybe about five minutes. So hold on, be right back, and let's check it out. Alright guys, we're back, I got everything out of the packaging. Now before we get into it, now that packaging, when it comes to the face mask, you're going to have to... Struggle a little bit to get it out, but you can get it out with a little bit no problem. But you will mess up the, if you're trying to say the background on that um, for, for photoshopping or well, for, for, for photo pictures, you're going you're gonna to mess up a little bit. But with that, when you do get out, here's his face mask right here. As you can see right there. I wish it had a little bit more color on there, but I probably some of the things I can do itself. I think about maybe down the line I might paint the, um, the little laser thing that's on both sides. And everything and I'm gonna show you real quickly how did that fit. It fits on real nice and easy. All you gotta do is just snap it snaps right on. And that's how that's how it looks. Now remember on the seven inch scale when we did King with the gun. Now this piece is all one piece as you can see right there. It's molded to from here from the from the chest area all the way up. You can get the gun to go a left and a right. No up and down. I wish you did have the up and down, that would be cool. And you can move the face plate. There's his face, more close, nice close shot of his face and his eyes. Now you see this piece right, right here, the little circle piece right there. Now a little circle piece, it's two gimmicks I'm going to show you. One of the gimmicks is so you can, when you push down on his head, it does move his um, mandibles out a little bit, real close. And the other gimmick is, it does come with batteries, so what you do is, let me see if I can find it. I didn't make, I didn't play with that part. Um, when you push this the button right, right there, you push the button. Now I do. I have will apologize for this when you if, if it does um, affect you or anything. When you push that button and everything, you do get a nice light to do being comes on. As you can see, now you see this piece this is all one piece right there. When you try to really lift up his arm for articulation, you're not gonna get no fervor and right there. You see these little ridges right there on his, his on stuff for, to protect him. That's gonna stop right there on on articulation, so it's not gonna go no further than for that, the arm gonna go up. But this arm will go a little bit more further. You get a nice bend at the elbow. These do not open. Uh, these are soft, but they do not attract, and you do get a nice rotation in the hands. Uh, remember how the uh, the, the chest that um. The air crunch air you move, you do get the same flow move at the air crunch. You can get the legs to do the bandana split. You can get it to go forward a little bit. This piece, um, his long cloth, we're gonna call it, it's a nice soft piece. You get a nice single um, bend at the knee. You do have a rotation all at the foot. And no five rotation at all and no peg holes at the bottom of the feet, and 
I love it. I love what um, Land Leak is doing with these figures. You can kind of give them a nice, good, um, um, nice pose at if you want to. Um, is it worth twenty bucks? Yes, it does. It's worth it. It's worth twenty bucks, and I think it's a really good deal if you want to get into your pair of the figures. And don't forget to check um at your local Walmart. Um, if you probably go online, it probably costs more. I didn't check out how much it probably costs on. On, online, but um, maybe I before I upload, upload this video, I'm gonna see how much it costs online. And I'll leave it in the description and to tell you what, what the prices are. So, um, like I say, if you're into predator figure or you just want a 12 inch scale figure, whatever the case may be, um, some maybe uh, the doll collectors or one of the predator figure to scary Barbies or uh, wherever I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Uh, good figure, pick it up at your local Walmart, and um, I recommend the figure one hundred percent. And it's a good figure to buy for the price range for your kids. It has a good solid piece of plastic, and um, I like what Landley is doing with making these kind of figures. I see with the cleverness that they do to get the price range to stay at a decent price range you can afford, and um, it's going to look good on your shelf. If you want to put a nice little wash on there to bring out the colors a little bit, it could bring it out. And um, that's something you probably can do it yourself. And once again, this is your man, Hard Man. Everybody have a good day, good night. And I'll talk to you guys later on the next side of you with the Hard Man. And be safe out there. And the Hard Man is out.